I am super excited to talk to you today about Microsoft 365 Copilot. My name is Jared Mathis. I'm part of Slom's Global Microsoft team. I've been with the company for over nine years now. I'm a proud dog dad of two super energetic French Bulldogs. I'm really hoping one of them does make a surprise appearance during this video. I was Microsoft MVP in Office Apps and Services for six years. And for me, I just love helping our clients transform the way they work with Microsoft technology. In terms of a quick agenda, so I'm going to give you an overview of M365 Copilot. I'm going to talk about our approach to this new emerging technology, and then a double click into our pre flight inspection go to market offering. M365 Copilot, what is it? If you've interacted with ChatGPT and you've, you've experienced just the power of being able to ask questions and get responses back, Microsoft is essentially taking that same capability, baking it into all of their products, and not only will you be able to just create text copy, you're going to be able to create PowerPoint slides. You're going to be able to create Word documents. You're going to be able to interact with data within things like Excel, where you'll be able to ask Copilot to create a pivot table for you. So incredibly powerful capability that's trained on both natural language as well as the Microsoft products. So how does it work? So you've got your large language models, which you interact with through typing and text. Um, you ask it questions, you, you prompt it to do certain things. From there, it accesses the Microsoft Graph, which is the one endpoint that touches all of your various data within Microsoft 365, whether it be documents, your email, your calendar, et cetera. And this whole capability is, is surfaced through the Microsoft 365 apps. So, you know, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Teams, that's where you'll engage with Copilot to interact with your data and have that experience. So what does that look like? So if say you're with Microsoft Word and you want to go ahead and create a, a document or a proposal based on you know, notes that you took in OneNote, you can do that. You can interact with Copilot and ask it to do those things. You can iterate on the, the output as well. You can ask it to change tone or to tweak certain paragraphs. So incredibly, incredibly powerful. Here's another example. So within Teams, so you know, we always talk about like, hey, you know, could you please record a meeting so we can watch it later? No one has time for that. That's just not how life works. But with Copilot, you can go ahead and ask questions like, you know, what were the decisions that were made during this meeting? You know, while you're in the meeting, you can ask for a table of pros and cons. And one of the really cool things is it's really smart to and can pull out like what were the recommended next steps. And you can also pull that information from Outlook to go ahead and create emails based on meeting content. Super duper powerful. To boil it down into the two pillars of what M365 Copilot does, it really comes down to content creation. So being able to you know, generate copy, create imagery, et cetera, within the Office apps. It also supports content summarization. So think about if you're within, uh, you're coming back from PTO and you say, hey, Copilot, you know, can you please summarize what are the three most important things I need to, or emails I need to respond to now that I'm back? or you've got a really long email thread, you can use Copilot to help summarize into what are the key points and next steps. So, so super duper powerful, incredibly helpful within your flow of work. What does that mean for you? When you think about a new disruptive capability like this, there's a lot of planning that has to go in, both from a technical perspective, as well as from an organization perspective. So for us, we're really focused on how do we help on both ends of the spectrum. Our approach is really baked into a very prescriptive, starting off with our pre-flight inspection, understanding if you're currently using M365 for collaboration, do you have data security controls on your most sensitive data? And then we dive into the next steps, including you know, looking at your organization, you know, helping you establish a Gen AI steer code, looking at your talent within your teams, and trying to figure out how do we upskill people to be able to engage with Copilot through the use of prompt engineering. Taxi and Takeoff are two other offerings, which are really around piloting it, uh, which is most likely going to be early next year, as well as a full you know, enterprise rollout. Taking a double click into our pre-flight inspection, you know, based on the size of the organization, we can do this either in a workshop or it might be a couple of weeks. It really depends on how many people we need to engage with. But at the highest of high levels, we really just want to understand how your org works, how data flows within the organization, how collaboration works as well and come up with a list of recommendations of things that you can work on to get ready for when Copilot lands. So again, it's very thorough, very focused on, on both the business and the tech side of preparing for, for Copilot. As a quick plug, our business is built on Microsoft. 20 plus years, we've won Partner of the Year awards, got lots of public case studies. We have 
so many consultants that just love you know working with our clients to help transform the way they work with Microsoft capabilities. And finally, I know this is a quick breeze through our content, but I've got a much longer blog post on Medium. We have the app source offering as well. You can certainly engage and look at slalom.com slash AI, or if you have any questions, want to learn more about Copilot, how it might affect you and your organization, reach out. Happy to respond either on email, LinkedIn, et cetera. So appreciate the time. Looking forward to connecting soon.